The idea of levels of evidence is an important concept in this class, and it's something that we're going to return to repeatedly. The idea is that higher levels of evidence, stronger studies, mean they have greater support for causality. And let me say right now that there's no agreement on single subject designs. So what we're talking about here is mo really applying to studies that involve groups of people. This is a bunch of different examples of levels of evidence. As you can see, there's not agreement on how to define these levels of evidence, and different people have different formulations. This is the levels of evidence we are going to use in this class. It's based on the AOTA levels of evidence. So level one are true experiments and literature synthesis, and we'll explain what those are later in the semester. Level two involves two groups of subjects, but not randomized. Level three involves one group of subjects. And those three levels of evidence are primarily what we're going to be concerned with in this class. And for us, the important distinction is level one, where you have more than one group and participants are randomly assigned to groups, that's the type of experiment that can show causation, can show that some intervention led to some outcome. Level two and three can't show causation. 